Welcome back. Continuing on, our next illustration is this. How the algo trader overcomplicated things. It's a lot easier than you think to get an overly complex system. As soon as you have maybe three or four different indicators as part of a system, you've probably overcomplicated things already in my view. One problem you might encounter is that to get alignment across each of the indicators in order to open a trade, it will become such a rare occurrence that the number of trades will reduce to a point where you're hardly taking any trades at all. What's more, working out if things are working properly will be such a complex activity, you'll never be sure if it's working across all the different possible scenarios. And remember, the more indicators you have, the more parameters you have. And the combination of more parameters with fewer trades completely destroys the possibility of having any statistical significance in your optimization phase. So hopefully you can see how all of these things that I'm talking about actually fit together. They're all related to each other. And so although building this kind of system with a high level of complexity is maybe a great indication of your technical skill level, unfortunately, it's not likely to ever make you any money. So you have to ask yourself the question, which would you prefer? How the trader waited for perfection before live trading. Are you the kind of person who likes perfection? If you are, then you'll probably find yourself continually tweaking the rules of your system. Thinking about what would happen if I tried this or what would happen if I tried that. And you never seem to be quite happy enough to put your strategy live. Well, guess what? I consider myself a bit of a perfectionist too. And when I started out in my research for trading, I worked on systems for two or three years before I even opened a live account. But I realised that something had to change. I had to force myself to move forward. Well, either that or to give up on trading completely and do something else with my time. Fortunately, I did choose to push forward with trading. And so my advice to you, if you do fit into this category, is this. If you have a system that backtests OK with a reasonable, if not amazing, return, but with low drawdowns, and you're sure that you've followed a best practice backtesting approach, then get that system running in a demo account. If after a period of time, the results are representative of your backtest, then consider getting it into a live account, even though you might not yet have completely perfected it. Ask yourself the question, is it good enough? But remember, Always go live initially with the minimum lot size possible. You don't want your first live trading experience to be a really bad one. Then, as your account moves into profit and not before, gradually increase your position size over time until you eventually reach your desired risk level. And of course, you can then continue with your refinements and your improvements of the strategy while you're getting some live trading experience and hopefully making a small amount of money as well. But please don't misinterpret what I'm saying here. You must have good, profitable and statistically significant backtests validated by successful demo performance before you consider going live. All I'm saying is don't wait for perfection. If you do, you'll never go live. How the algo trader never reached their full potential. You can be one of the most talented algo traders in the world and make a 100% return consistently year after year. But if you only have 1,000 euros of disposable capital to trade with, you're not going to be able to dedicate your time to trading or become a full-time algo trader. You'll therefore only reach a fraction of your full potential as illustrated here. But as I've said before, there is another way. The Darwin X business model is one where talented traders can attract investor capital and then charge success fees for the profit they achieve on that investor capital. So instead of just earning profit on your 1,000 euros, you can now earn 15% of the profit you make on investor capital. 
So this increases your profit making potential in a much safer way than by over leveraging on your own capital and risking losing everything. Again, this is something I talked about in a previous episode, episode two of this series. If you want to check that out for more detail, but also take a look at the Darwin X website for more information, then there's a link in the description below. So click top right now to see the final part.